everyone to the June 7th regular meeting of the Putnam County Legislature. Please stand for the pledge and please remain standing for the legislative prayer. Legislate Adonisio, can you lead us in the pledge? Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Legislators, get your mouth. Can you lead us in prayer? Yes. We gather to make decisions for our community. May we use only our best skills and judgment, keeping ourselves impartial and neutral as we consider the merits and pitfalls of each matter that is placed before us, and always act in accordance with what is best for our community and our fellow citizens. Amen. Thank you. Roll call, please. District 1, Legislative Sitchmarin. Present. District 2, Legislative Goldman. Present. District 3, Legislative Adonisio. Present. District 5, Legislative Albano. Yeah. District 6, Legislative Rose. Present. District 7, Legislative Castellano. Present. District 8, Legislative Rose. Present. District 9, Legislative Wright. Here. District 4, Chair and Messina. Present. Approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of May 3rd, 2016. Moving on to item number five, correspondence from the county auditor. There was no activity during this reporting period. Moving on to the pre-file resolutions, I call upon Legislator Albano, Chair of the Physical Services Committee. Thank you, Chairwoman Nasserino. On behalf of Legislators Castellano, Scuchamara, and myself, I'd like to move to 6A, approval of the budgetary amendment 16A026. Highways and Facilities, Sheriff's Department, Bureau of Emergency Services, Storage Garage. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. 6B, Approval Fund Transfer 16T066, Finance Veterans Home Generator. Any discussion? Yes, yes. Madam Chair. I, I would like to make a comment regarding this issue. As we all know, it was tabled from last month because as Legislator LeBou pointed out, where is the money coming from? And that's how this all uh, was set up. Uh, I've been the legislator for five years. I'm a veteran. And this legislature has always supported veterans' issues and veterans' affairs at every single letter, level. Um, think of the veterans' home, transportation, a handicapped van. Position of, of veterans' affairs was moved from part-time to full-time with approval of the legislature. The role of honor the administration put together the flags on the lake, they do it at Memorial Day, they do it at Veterans Day, and the legislature certainly is supportive of that. The moving wall has come to Putnam County twice. The legislature supported that over in the Veterans Park, as well as assorted activities in the Veterans Park at every level, Gold Star and others and so forth. Any suggestion that the legislature does not support veterans is, is totally a false. It's really outrageous. And um, to put that on social media by a department head is uncalled for. So I'd just like to say we support veterans now, today, and we will continue down the line. Thank you. Thank you. Any discussion from the legislator? Yes. As we know, the this item was tabled from last month's meeting because a question arose regarding why we're using the contingency line for the $5,500 generator for the veterans' home. I was always in favor, and I always support the veterans, and I was in favor last month of purchasing the generator, but I tabled it due to the fact but I didn't have the contingency budget in front of me. Therefore, to me, it was questionable as to why we were using that line. This evening, I have the contingency report in front of me, and as of today, we have $1.593 million, almost $1.6 million in contingency, and I'm told that contingency is used for unexpected expenses. Therefore, I don't need to take issue this evening if it's being taken from that line. I'm fully supporting it this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, last month um, we had f first reviewed this as physical and then it went through audit. And um, it made sense to me that it came out of the line uh, because it was an un unanticipated expense. And for that reason, I voted no that last month not to table it. Um, I understand that uh, people wanted to look at it again, make sure it was in the right line. But it was never really a question of whether they were, we were going to do the generator. It was just a question of what line to take it out of. Thank you. Chairwoman Nasserino. Uh, I just was really shocked uh, after last month's meeting and the comments that were made in the photo op that was put in the paper suggesting that the legislature would jeopardize the safety of the veterans when we have numerous uh, generators available. 
So I'm really disappointed. I just was really surprised and disappointed after last month's meeting. So I too, uh, as comments were made from the other legislators, I'm in favor of purchasing the generator. Again, I just was really surprised by the behavior of the two department heads from the uh, Veterans Department. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Madam Chair, could I respectfully request uh, that the record be amended with respect to 6A uh, on original review of it, I, I thought, Indeed, I thought it pertained to a, exclusively to a previously passed resolution. Uh, but I guess it's, it, it's more in the nature of a, a rewording and a reworking of the Homeland Security Grant, so I ask that my vote be counted as a refusal. Respectfully accepted. Thank you. Let the record show legislative rights. Six C approval of the sale of county <laughs> property pursuant to Chapter Thirty One of the Franklin County Code. Any discussion? All in favor? Okay. Absolutely. Vote please. Legislator Adnizia. Yes. Legislator Albano. Yes. Legislator Castellano. Yes. Legislator Golden. Yes. Legislator Gross. Yes. Legislator Gross. Abstention. Legislator Suchanara. Yes. Legislator Wright. I'll abstain. Six D approval of renewal of lease on 276 Main Street, Nelsonville, New York, Putnam County Sheriff. Roll call, please. Legislator Adonisio. Yes. Legislator Abana. Yes. Legislator Castellano. Yes. Legislator Goldman. Yes. Legislator Gross. Yes. Legislator Lebeau. Yes. Legislator Stuchinow. Yes. Legislator Wright. Yes. Chairwoman Nelson. Yes. Motion carried. Mm -hmm. Retroactive approval of application for grant funds available to the U.S. Department of Treasury's transportation investment generating economic recovery, TIGER. This is a competitive grant program. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Legislator Adnizio. Yes. Legislator Albano. Yes. Legislator Castellano. Yes. Legislator Goldman. Yes. Legislator Gross. Yes. Legislator Lebeau. Yes. Legislative speech now. Yes. Legislative right. Yes. Chairwoman Nelson. Yes. 6F, approval applied from New York State, accelerated transportation capital grant funding to reduce total costs associated with the purchase and installation of bike rig, rig road intersection signage on bike paths and bikeways and the bikeways in Putnam County. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. 6G, approval for Huntington County to incorporate improvements into the New York State Highway System Park and Rides lots located in Huntington County and paying for the first instance for reimbursement for New York State construction and construction costs in connection with N8806.97. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'd like to call upon legislator Stichinara Chairwoman of the Health, Social, Education, and Environmental Committee. Thank you, Madam Chair. On behalf of legislators Adivisio and Labu, I'd like to bring the following forward. Number 6H, approval fund transfer. 16T083, Department of Social Services, Health Insurance. This has zero fiscal impact. The fund transfer is to cover the cost of health insurance for a new employee at the DSS. The previous employee that was in this position Opted out for health insurance. All in favor? Aye. Number 6I, approval appointment of the County Board of Health, Kristen McConnell. Um, we had three applicants come before the Board of Health. They were all very, very qualified, but we decided on Kristen, and I am very excited to have her as a member of this board. Madam Chair? Yes. 
I would like to also say the same thing. I know the lady, she's excellent. She's totally committed to these projects, so I certainly support her. I'm happy Thank that she's going to bring a lot to the board. Yes. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Now I would like to call upon Legislator Anamizio, Chairwoman of the Economic Development and Energy Committee. Thank you, Madam Chair. On behalf of Legislators Blumen and Gross, I would like to approve the appointment to the Clinton County Industrial Development Agency. Be it resolved that the following be appointed. Joseph Downey, Town of Patterson, for a term to expire December 31st, 2016. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Personnel committee, that would be me. Uh, I'd like to bring forward item 6K. This is a approval of a budgetary transfer for the district attorney's salary. The sum is $12,690. Uh, this is a state decision to mandate the raises for the DA salary. However, um, <coughs> unlike past years, the funding was not incorporated into the state budget and therefore filtered down to our budget. Uh, and this, once again, is merely an, another unfunded mandate, um, but it has to be done. So, any discussion? All in favor? Uh -huh. Item 6L is approval of the fund transfer for the Sheriff's Department personnel. This is the sum of $11,009 for a retiree payout. Any discussion? All in favor? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Item 6M, approval of fund, fund transfer Sheriff's Department temporary. This is sum of $3,961 for a temporary cook at the jail. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Item 6N, approval of fund transfer for Sheriff's Department overtime. This is overtime for the correction officers as we continue to vet and seek permanent employee employment. Uh, this total is $7,885. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'd now like to call upon Legislator Castellano, Chairman of the Audit and Administration Committee. Thank you, uh, Chairman Nasserino. On behalf of Legislators Albano and Goldman, I'd like to bring forward the following. Uh, 6-0 is the approval of the budgetary amendment of, of finance, Tilly Foster, farm renovations. This was the bond that was approved last month, removing the $1.1 million into the appropriate fund. Any discussion? A roll call on that, please. Legislator Adamizio. Yes. Legislator Albana. Yes. Legislator Castellano. Yes. Legislator Golden. Yes. Legislator Gross. Yes. Legislator Lavelle. No. Legislator Sutomara. Yes. Legislator Wright. No. Chairwoman Nassim. Yes. <coughs> Item number uh, 6P is the approval of an amendment to the legislative calendar for next month. Uh, we'd like to move the full uh, legislative meeting from July 5th to July 6th. Uh, just to make uh, arrangements because it's a holiday weekend. Give us a little more time to prepare for this meeting as well. Any discussion? All in favor? Um. <coughs> Item number 6Q is the, is the approval of the semi-annual mortgage tax report. From October 1st, 2015 to March 31st, 2016, this is money collected by the Putnam County Clerk um, that was received through uh, mortgage tax uh, for each of the municipalities gets their share for any properties that are located within their town and village. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item 6R is the approval of home rule request, Assembly Bill A2. I'm sorry, A seven two zero five A Senate Bill S four eight zero nine six two thousand sixteen. This is a, a request for the exemption of county sales tax uh, to certain clothing and footwear during the week of August fifteenth through August twenty fourth, uh, two thousand sixteen. We're hoping to um, give the people of Putnam County and any consumers that want to shop in Putnam County a little break on the taxes. 
right before school, hopefully uh, boost a little business sale in our, uh, in our county. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Second second. Second second. Yeah. 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 Okay. Covers both um, bills. Recognition of the public at this time. Anyone would like to come forward and speak, please do so and state your name and the town that you're from. On the motion to amend, we have the second a vote. Is it all in favor? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Good. All in favor? Aye. Okay. the tone for all our disputes. And that starts with explaining the facts of any issue rather than letting one person rush to silence others by making them look bad. When Veteran Service Director Carl Rohde secured a photo and feature story in the May 18th edition of the Putnam County Press in which he declared he would take a pay cut so the county could buy the generator. He made it clear he was doing it, to criti doing it to criticize the rest of us. Here's his exact quote. I always say I'm proud of the way veterans are treated in this county. Maybe I shouldn't be. Here's a fact, as I understand it. There was no question the veterans at the home wouldn't get the generator. The first vote was just to ensure we did so, we did the funding responsibly. I appreciate those legislators who stood by that vote. Second, our considerable investment in EMS personnel, equipment to be deployed, transportation services, has and will protect those whose lives would be at risk by a lengthy outage. Agreed, everybody thinks. We got cracked in, ready to go. In fact, that leads me to ask, why not fix the old gentleman? Third, most group homes, let alone homeowners in Putnam, can't afford such a generator. This is a luxury item. 
And it hurt to see Mr. Rohde give us, that is the government, no consideration for all our support today. When he thought he saw a slip up, all the good we did vanished. He's headed veteran services for five years. In fact, on May 19th, around the same time as this photo and story, he appeared on the local cable TV talk show, Good Day Cousin Valley, to describe services his office offers to veterans here, all taxpayer funded. He differentiated himself from those who held the post before him by noting he, unlike they, reaches out to vets. In fairness, his predecessors couldn't defend themselves at that time. So here's some ideas. When my father-in-law, a World War II Navy veteran, faced three serious health crises recently and spent two months at Putnam Hospital Center and Putnam Ridge Nursing Home, partly over the Christmas holidays, we were not aware of anyone in Putnam County Veteran Services reaching out to him. Why not have these kinds of local institutions alert Veteran Services when a veteran checks in? as a way to reach out. Also, the uh, cable news talk show talked about that to that, which is an interesting way to create dialogue. Why not use social media to help veterans connect with each other in Putnam? Government doesn't have to be involved. Veterans can tap into other private groups to expand their reach. You know, be creative about it. And why not investigate ways our Veterans Services Office can coordinate with the Veterans Administration to avoid duplication. Could cut down on bureaucracy for better services to the customers, that is the veterans, and free up money for new ideas and cost savings. And uh, one more thing I'd like to add, I saw an interesting story about a, uh, a traveling memorial that honors uh, service dogs. That might be something that really moved me, that story. Uh, I think the headquarters in South Carolina, that they're raising money and they want to go around the country to raise awareness about the um, service dogs and other animals um, that have served our country. And I think that might be an interesting uh, awareness uh, vehicle for Putnam County, along with, of course, the uh, traveling memorial. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you. Alexander. Thank you for your comments. Is there anybody else that wishes to speak this evening? Recognition of legislators? I just want to mention that the Village of Cold Spring Planning Board will be meeting this Friday, June 10th at 6 o'clock. Originally, the meeting was scheduled for Thursday at 7, but they have just moved it recently, and I have been campaigning for seniors to come to the Thursday meeting. I've been calling most of the ones that I have phone numbers for, but I was hoping to, that this is, would be a good way to let them know that it's Friday night and not Thursday night. And hopefully, after this meeting, we will resolve all the problems with this project, and the Senior Center will become a reality. Thank you. Well, with the, uh, the beginning of summer in a couple of weeks, uh, Want to state that the Town of Southeast Fireworks uh, show will take place on Saturday, July 2nd, in the uh, Home Depot Pulse Plaza over there near the Chico's. Uh, it's getting a lot of uh, buzz right now, but uh, it's going to be a great event. It's going to be on Saturday night, July 2nd. The weather's supposed to be spectacular, as you can guess. Uh, and, um, Hope so. Everyone can come out for the fireworks that night. There is a rainy day, that's the circle. We're not counting. So. I just also want to congratulate all the graduates of the county and wish them continued success in their future endeavors. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Chairwoman Nasserino. I do want to mention, give a uh, honorable mention to uh, Lieutenant John McGinty. New York, there's an article in LOHUD, um, New York City Firefighter from Mail Pack Wing City Award. A hero, New York City firefighter from Mail Pack is getting some recognition. Lieutenant John McGinty, who has been with the department for over 16 years, received the Uniform Fire Officers Association Medal from Mayor Bill de Blasio on Wednesday.
the award comes after McGinty dragged an unconscious woman trapped in a burning building to safety last April. As McGinty entered the building in New Yorkville, a section of Manhattan, he was met by an elderly man who told him that a woman was trapped in a fire in an apartment on the second floor. McGinty led his team up the second floor through thick smoke and found an unconscious woman. McGinty lifted the woman's limp body and wrapped his arms under her shoulders. With flames now exiting the top portion of the apartment door into the public hallway, McGinty operated a water extinguisher, holding back the fire in order to complete another search of the apartment. So hats off to Mr. McGinty, Lieutenant McGinty. Thank you. Like to echo of legislator Zabu's sentiments with pushing everyone a happy graduation. Congratulations to all the college graduates and seniors. Now I'm getting ready for graduation on June 18th at Bristol High School. The eighth grade graduations and even the little kindergarten graduation. So hats off to everyone and much success in their future. It's the best time of their lives. They don't realize it now, but they, they'll look back and realize it. Right. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.